Happening now, thousands of families are preparing for the start of school, and among them, those who have preschoolers and kindergartners leaving home for the very first time. And this can be really difficult. Some kids who have been just fine when you've been gone before might develop separation anxiety now. Going to school is a big life change, so here are some things you can do to ease the pain. First of all, visit the school before the first day. Talk about a typical school day, what it might look like, what they might see or do. Two, maybe find a friend in advance. Go on Facebook and do that so your little one has a familiar face on the first day. Maybe you can meet up at the playground beforehand. And last but not least, practice before you are apart. Leave your child with a trusted adult. Allow your child to get comfortable without you. And then on those on those first days of school, just practicing like keeping goodbyes sure and realizing that our kids are going to react to how we react. And so if we're in the hallway sobbing and we're having a, a, a mental breakdown about our kindergartner going to school for the first time. Our kids are likely going to have that same response. By the way, you may not see tears on day one, but rather day two or day three or maybe a week in. But if that happens, Aaron, who you just heard from, says you need to validate their feelings and maybe ask, what can I do to help? Can I pack maybe a special treat in your lunch? Is there something special you want to do afterward? Give them something to look forward to. There are also a lot of students going back to school after a year of remote learning, and so there's going to be a big adjustment there as well. Give yourself some grace. I've been saying that all week. You're going to be relearning a lot of things, including your routine. Now we're having to readjust back to being in the school building. We're like, we don't have the ability to crank out a math assignment and then jump on Fortnite for a couple hours. And so it's having to relearn some of that self-control and just being able to, like, take some deep breaths and stick with it. Parents will need to have a lot of conversation prior to the classroom. Moms, dads, guardians, this might be stressful for you too. Every single therapist I've spoken with said you need to take care of yourself first so that you can take care of others. Set an example by maintaining a positive attitude. Focus on what your kid can do and not what they can't. It makes me so sad. As so a, Nico's <laughs> going to preschool, which is like really early. He's going into a twos program in September. Uh, and their rule is that you don't even take them into the classroom. Yeah. Their teacher comes out and gets them uh, yep. and takes them from the car. They swear that this works better than the, te the parent going into the classroom. Uh, but talk about yeah. heart I mean, shatter. Listen. I sympathize, but I clearly know nothing about <laughs> anything that's going on. With oh, this. it's just uh, going to be. I, listen, good luck, y'all. I mean, my dad always tells the story that, like, the first week I was always crying and everything and wanting him. And then by week two, I was like, all right, I'm yeah, out of here. It'll See? be fine eventually, <laughs> yeah. right? Like, they have to go to school. Yeah. Yeah, so. do it. It's oh. exciting. It's going to be so exciting eventually. They just yeah. have to get used to it. They just grow so quickly, don't they? Oh. <laughs>